Hey everybody. So, I have some new things to try to do a little bit of cleaning up on this map. This map has been wiped down. But I haven't really touched the counters uh, yet at all. And I uh, thought I'd give them a try. And this product's a, it's a cleaning pad. And I love the, uh, this guy. This is a dirt eraser. Look at that. That's very 50s, isn't it? Clearly these people do not have to do any marketing whatsoever. Because people know that when they're in need, they can use Absorb Arene. So, hmm, yeah, this is picking up uh, Picking up dirt, but um, clearly now this is a uh, this is a uh, a newer copy of Fire in the East that I have. Uh, obviously, could probably use these maps, and this is uh, from Scorched Earth. Um, probably loving how I just uh, jump on there. Let's see. I can't imagine doing three thousand counters like this. Boink. But it does clean it up pretty good. If you can see the difference there, I can. And this thing, this baggy, I think you're supposed to, yeah, shake it like this, and all those little particles come out. And then you're supposed to wipe it up. And then it really doesn't look like it makes much difference at all. But on a counter, let's use two white ones. There we go. These two grubby white ones. Yeah, you know. I'll leave that isolated counter there as a uh, as a reference point. So there's a dirty one. Anyone want to come over and do this with me? I mean, this looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? And this will just help me decide how much effort I want to put into this. It cleans it up a little bit. Let's clean this guy again. Certainly better, and probably it also helps probably with the smell as well, which is one of the one of the items we want to take care of. And uh, Bill Wood suggested that I get some masking tape and uh, some painters tape and tape the units down, and I can wipe across them, and maybe they'll stay in place. One of the challenges we do have is that uh, many of the, there's a lot of green units. And the green units, are, they're all fading, all the paint, all the dye has actually faded off them. So yeah, that comes up pretty good compared to that guy. Hey, you know, there's only three or four thousand counters. I don't think this will take more than one or two lifetimes. And you just shake this thing out here. I don't think this really makes much difference at all. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if I've got it in the camera. It certainly feels cleaner, but it doesn't look any cleaner. This is just stained with age and probably cigarette smoke, is what I'm guessing. It's just all oxidized on there. And you can see the, I don't know if you can see the dirt that comes up on that guy. But there's quite a lot of dirt coming up. But as long as it's wiped clean and the dust is off it, that's one thing. I don't need it to, uh, I'm not trying to get it back to its pristine original condition. We just want to try and get it back, do a little bit of recovery on it. But clearly, you know, these units are just trash. They're just really super dirty and gritty. I mean, using them on the map, what I'm afraid of is that I'll just make the map dirty again. I'm not a big fan of this guy. Seems to put a lot of a lot of crap everywhere. <laughs> so I'll be here hanging out for a while with my broken foot. I've got six weeks of this. I don't know how much I can get done if I just did this and didn't play any games. Something tells me that my patience is not gonna wear well on this. Yeah, lots of dirt coming off those guys. 
faithful engineers. There you go. Can you see that dude there? Whoa. See if he looks any better in a second. I'm just trying to guess where the lens is because I've got the camera set up to the side. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. And uh, I'll be here, so if you want to come on by, have a beer. Whoa, come back. Uh, grab a sponge. Doesn't look like fun. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is a delicates bag and it's used, uh, well my wife uses it for her underwear if you must know. Is that T TMI? I'm going to put a whole bunch of these counters in this bag and a piece of our little sponge that I just cut off and maybe I'll cut this into smaller pieces and let's let the natural action of the, uh, sorry for the bump there, natural action of the dryer set on fluff we have a fluff setting, uh, agitate everything and see what happens and see if they come out all slightly better or spanky or nice or new or who knows. Anyway, I think that's a really exciting idea and I'm going to go do it right now and I'll uh, be back to report. Live back in our little experiment and my first observation is going to be that I don't think the bag weighs enough to actually move the counters around enough with the um, spongy cleaner eraser thingy. Yep, and indeed that's probably the case because look, they don't really look that much cleaner, do they? Because it's just not getting enough friction and they don't mm, feel a little bit better. Let's see. Get some of these guys out of here and have a look at them. As you can see, that guy. Whoops. There's a gray. Look at that guy. He's so beaten up. They look. Neither look nor feel very, very different. So I would. Uh, think that either you need to have this cut up into pieces or lots more counters if this was going to do any good. They do feel uh, like you know, softer I guess, you know, so all the dust and stuff is definitely off them. Yeah, that guy feels pretty good compared to the grittiness of these guys. Hmm, so it might be worthwhile, but uh, it's certainly not going to make them look any... Uh, look any better and since I take so many pictures with these games I, I don't want my game to look perfect but you know, maybe you won't notice it with 3,000 counters <laughs> all looking dirty I don't think uh, I don't think this is gonna work so oh well it was an experiment on to, on to bigger and better things <laughs>